Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and today I'm going to be showing you how I record and upload my, um, uh, that my YouTube videos. So, um, I have a couple programs here open for you guys, um, because I've been getting a lot of questions, um, asking, can, like, can I help them, or, like, what? Like, you know, like, can I help them do it? And it's really getting annoying that I have to type it out all the time, so I just figured, make a video do it, why not? <laughs> so, uh, I have a couple programs open, obviously, Audacity, recording my audio, because I tried it with Cam, T uh, Cam Studio, built an audio recorder, and it sounded terrible, so I'm going to be using Audacity, because Audacity is sweet. But, um, first off, you want to open up Pinnacle, and go up to the Capture tab right here, you see, um, I have a game on, but it's not on my TV, it's just I'm playing it while the TV's off, and yeah, whatever. Um, go to Settings, and here are my settings for uh, capturing. I dazzle, obviously, dazzle, uh, NTSC, TV standard, aspect ratio 16 by 9, don't want 4 by 3 because widescreen is epic. Um, capture format MPEG, I make it MPEG, I make it the highest, and a bitrate at 8000. Uh, my project preferences are NTSC progressive widescreen uh, for best quality, and that's pretty much it. Um, what I do is, uh, let me save it. But, what I do is I get my audacity. I'm not going to be using this as an example because I'm already recording my voice. But uh, what I do is I start capture and like I make it a random video, like let's say Mega Man X3 Part One Twelve. Because I already even tried this once. Start capture and as it's loading like that, I press a record button. So my my commentary is before the uh, actual game. Um, then I after I'm done finished recording, I just stop both of them obviously. But um with um with Audacity, I've known people actually who have had problems with it crashing. A few of my friends have had problems with it. So instead of clicking the stop button, I click the space button. I'm not going to now because it stops my audio recording. So um press the space button instead, you should be fine. So um after you get all that done and that's the raw recording, exit out of Pinnacle and go into Vegas. I use Vegas because it's in my opinion the best um, one that you can get easily but um yeah so what you want to do is you want to import your media I mean, you might as well just put in the uh, um, let's put in the Majora's Mask part one that hasn't been out yet Ooh. anyways um, put those in oh first I want to show you my properties of my actual project um, the the video temp, the video one is really the only one that matters. The video tab makes the width 16 or 856 and the height 480. Make the field order none. Make the pe pixel aspect ratio 1.0000. I think four zeros <laughs> square. Output rotation zero, obviously. Uh, frame rate 29.970 NTSC. Um, there are some if you have a, like an HD capture card or like you're rendering Call of Duty videos, I would suggest 59.94 because it's double NTSC. And Call of Duty is like the only game ever that can render or play it f full 60 frames. But that's only if you have like an HD capture card. I think. Well, I don't know if Dazzles can output 60 frames. They might be able to. I'm not entirely positive. Anyways, um, make the, uh, the pixel format at 8 bit. The uh, comp Compositing gamma, that doesn't matter because it can't be changed anyways. Full resolution rendering quality at best. The mos motion blur type at Gaussian and the deinterlace method at blend fields. And I've clicked the adjust box, adjust source media to better match project, and start new project with these settings because you want obviously to have the project save and just click OK. Since you have all that done, uh, let's put in our video and audio. Put it in, it's two tracks obviously. Well, video and audio, and my commentary is one track. Um, what I do, usually do is I uh, click S to split the video, delete this dead space, or this dead uh, dead air, and it's usually about, about there. It's good, but just to make sure, let's find a place I'm not talking very much. Here we go. Oops. And what I do is I mute the actual. I mute the actual uh, game audio. And like what I do is, I have on my TV, I have it like kind of up where I can hear it if the game audio in here is muted, but not loud enough to hear it when my game audio isn't muted. Like I'll hear it in the recording just so I know what's going on, but I won't 
have it so loud where you can hear it regardless. So um, I just match it up. Let's see. It's found a place like I roll because rolling is really easy to figure out. No. Come on. Uh, anyways, it's probably fine, but like that's what I do usually for that. And to get it full screen, like legit full screen, you want to right click the video part of the um, the dazzle capture and go to properties and uncheck the button that says maintain aspect ratio. Uncheck that and click OK. It won't change much, but it does change it uh, a little bit. Then right click it again and go to video event pan slash crop. And then you just want to crop it to how you have it so it looks good in full screen. It's really not that difficult. Uh, do this. And since Majora's Mask really doesn't have that many black bars or N64 Zelda games, but some games do, like Lunar has a lot, any RPG really, I don't know why, but anyways. Oh, before I do that, there. if you're new to this, there are probably some boxes here that's about size about center and uh, lock aspect ratio. Uncheck both of those so they're not like that. Make sure they're like that, both of them. And once you have it all done, I would recommend saving it as a template, like I have. See Majora's Mask, it's basically the same, it just makes it full screen. It just makes it so much easier for you all. Um, just like make it, you know, see Majora's Mask, make it that, you know. So yeah, that's cropping and uh, synchronization. I can get into how I make the pictures, but I'm really not going to. Let's get into rendering, shall we? Go to render as. Um, I make it MP4, but that's just me. Um, so I'll show you my template for MP4. Um, we're in the video tab, as you can see. Include video. to Make your width 856 by 480 the size of the YouTube player. Um, don't allow a source to adjust frame. I never did. I mean, I might test it later. But um, make your profile baseline and make your frame rate 29.970000. That's the same frame rate you had in your project, so that's probably best. Um, allow source to adjust frame rate for the, uh, um, I'm not sure what the difference is, to be entirely honest, but it looks fine for me. Make your pixel aspect ratio at 1.0000, um, number of reference frames 1, and, uh, make it the variable bitrate, make the maximum 1,500,000, and make the average 1,350,000. And go to over to project, um, the audio should be fine, 48,000 and 128,000, that's fine. Um, make your project a video rendering quality at best, just for, just, that's the best. <laughs> um, if you want to make a WMV, I'll show you the template for, that I have for it. Um, I've been using M uh, MP4 for about two weeks now, and it's really good. I'll tell you the differences after I'm done here. Go to the video tab, audio should be fine, mode CBR and all that junk. Go to Format, Windows Media Video 9, obviously. Uh, image size, DVD quality, 4, 640 by 480. Pistol aspect ratio, 1.333 for a uh, widescreen. This just makes it a square. I'm not sure why. Anyways, make the frame rate 29.970 NTSC, seconds per keyframe 3, and make it the sharpest. And don't override default comp compression buffer. Don't do that. And go over to the... Um, the bitrate and make it internet slash LAN at 3M. That's 3 million. Um, I think that makes it render a little bit faster. I'm not entirely sure. Index summary doesn't matter. That's just for the uh, template. Go to project. Make your video rendering quality at best again. Oh, for saving templates, go over here to the top. It says template. Um, name it whatever you want and click the little floppy disk. Same for the template for, for cropping it. So but you can put your notes in whenever. Click OK. And then render. Um, the differences between MP MP4 and WMV, um, MP4, it seems to render a lot faster and about the same quality. You can compare them if you want. Uh, um, MP4 seems like a little, it's, it's MP4 is a very much smaller video size, like a 10 part or a 15 minute video of Majora's Mask in a WMV is about 300 to 400 megabytes and a, and a 50 minute video for uh, MP4 is about 150, so about half the size. And um, WMV takes about 15 more minutes to render. Um, it, MP4 is about 30 minutes to render, and uh, WMV is about 45 minutes to render, 15 minute part. So that's it, that's probably just my computer, but I'm just telling you the differences. So I guess that's all, everyone. So um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you in my next Majora's Mask part, which should be coming out later today. Alright guys, see ya.